So it was a listener of ours who is also a columnist for Computer World. Michael, this is a shout out. Michael Horowitz is Computer World's defensive computing columnist. He sends me stuff from time to time uh, in uh, via Twitter. And I got a kick out of going uh, in following the story. I, I and backtracking, I came to his column, which he wrote last week. And Michael wrote on a recent edition of the Security Now podcast, Steve Gibson read a note from a listener saying that while Lenovo was corrupting their consumer PCs, Lenovo have kept their hands off the ThinkPad line. Both Gibson and the show host Leo Laporte proceeded to sing the praises of ThinkPads. But there's more to the story. Uh oh And Michael writes that he had recently purchased two newly refurbished ThinkPads from IBM, a T520 and a T420. And just because it's who he is, I mean, he's writing the defensive computing column for Computer World. So he's a security-focused guy. So he ran NERSOFT's very nice task scheduler view utility. Uh, NIRSOFT is a, another site of really great homegrown, uh, just a, a variety of neat little utilities to do useful things. Um, I used them when a restaurant I was frequenting secretly put in their Wi-Fi password um, because they didn't want me to know it, but they were willing to enter it. And Windows won't allow you to, to get what was entered, but Nursoft has a utility that will give you the hex version, which Windows has. And as we'll remember from our co coverage of Wi-Fi years ago, you can always put the hex version of the password in and it will be accepted in addition to the ASCII version. And so that way I was able to obtain the password that that this the manager of the restaurant had entered secretly into one laptop and I was able to move it to another. So actually I think I moved it over to my iPad and then of course it went to the iCloud and now everybody has it. I mean all of my all of, all everybody of my, all has of my, it. All of my devices have it. So the takeaway is that um, that ThinkPad is not being held in some special, you know, from IBM or off limits or executive level or special sanitized, we're not putting any spyware, using the term loosely, in that particular uh, brand. It's there with the rest, with the, uh, and in fact, Lenovo has an, a, a support document on their site. I have a link in the show notes where they say, right at the big, big bold type, uh, just like Ling is using on his site, uh, <laughs> Lenovo systems may include software components that communicate with servers on the internet. All Think Center, all Think Station, all ThinkPad. So, and then they explain that uh, la later on down the page that on Think brand products, Lenovo collects two types of data, application usage data, metrics, and preloaded application inventory data. So uh, uh, now the only downside is that, and, and Michael's column covers this in more depth for anyone who's interested, is that that the serve that this the the domain that this stuff is going to is is not Lenovo. So their their software that they install is sending this off to a third party for for that third party's processing. Maybe you know they're a subcontractor of Lenovo or who knows. But but they are a well known um, web aggregator company of some sort. So uh, it might be that Lenovo is actually generating revenue from sending this stuff off. And of course, th there are th th then there are in these links that I have, if anyone's curious, both in the, the Lenovo link and in Michael's, lots of advice for finding this stuff, turning it off, 
uh, removing it from, uh, you know, removing it from the uh, like de deinstalling it and 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 removing its auto startness. And there was some mention of in within 90 days, it'll delete itself if it sees it's no longer running. Uh, but apparently you can do that, too. So that's the story. I just wanted to 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 close this up and uh, and unfortunately remove uh, the think pads as being separate. And Michael, thank you for the great uh, find and discovery. The, I got a lot of tweets from people who were reading your column uh, and wanted to make sure I knew about it. 